Shut the fuck up. Yo, what's up? This is JC. Welcome back. And today, you know, I, I got a lot of messages. I, I have to say that I'm very, very proud of growing up in a little village. And, um, you know, for the first time in a long time, you know, the, the uh, organizations there, the gangs, however you want to call it, took a stand and made their their hood safe let's get into this video Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six times failing I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong Hey, what's up? JC with Wrong Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. And if you are part of my Wrong and Strong family, subase la suburban, put some gas in it so we don't end up in the wrong neighborhood. What's up, family? What's up, raza? What's up, little village? I got messages left and right yesterday about little village. The Land Kings, the 2-6, stood up, didn't let no no rioters come in and mess with the stores. And most most of those stores are owned by hardworking, you know, uh, Mexicans that came to the United States for that better life. And they stood up. They stood up. And, and it's great to see that kind of, you know, uh, protecting the hood because at the end of the day, that is our hood, that is our neighborhood, that is where we grew up and we have to make sure that we protect it before anything. So yeah, I went back to Chicago. There was an officer that was in that area that I seen pretty much as I grew up, go from a uh, blue and white you know, police officer to uh, the gang unit, and that was Officer Beretta. And, uh, you know, they used to ride three, three, three in a car, and they were the gang unit, and they all knew us by name. It was always the same ones out there, and uh, I, I'll never forget. I had just got out of doing a year for a gun, and I was on the corner on 58 and Christiana, and he rolled up on me, and he was like, "Mr. Almanza, just got out, huh?" And I was like, "Yes, sir." He was like, "You better not have a gun on you." And, yeah. So, I put my hands up. He smacked me in the head. Told me he did not want to see me in his neighborhood for, you know, a couple of months. And I left. You know, um, he could have easily charged me with that gun. I could have easily went back for another three years. And, and this is what I mean. I, I'm not saying... You know, because I don't want people, like, talking shit. I'm not saying, like, when you're in that life, I guess you're taught to, like, hate cops and hate hate the law and hate this and hate that. But in all reality, if you weren't doing nothing wrong, you wouldn't have nothing to worry about. They're doing their job. Is there bad seeds and bad, uh, you know, apples in that bunch? Yeah, there is. There's just like there is in, in, in our groups, too. 
you know, snitches, uh, all that, child molesters, there's bad seeds and, and everything. So, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, it made me really, really happy to hear that, you know, the brothers on 26th Street were standing up for the businesses and, you know, uh, there, there, seem, there seems to be like some kind of peace right now between the, the Kings and the 26th and, and that's to protect their neighborhoods and make sure that nobody comes in and, and loots and, you know, burns these build, these buildings and businesses down because these all these businesses, 90% of them are owned by people like us, you know, our, our parents, illegal immigrants that came over here for a better life. And they worked hard to, to get to where they're at. And this is this is why it's so important for us to protect our own and lead by example most most of anything. Because, like I said, two, two wrongs don't make a right. You have to lead by example in order to, to create change. And that, and that is why I, I stress so much what I do, my videos, and, and everything. Because I always tell the guys, if I'm able to do it, then you're more than capable to do it. Because I used to have the biggest record. I mean, I, st I, mean, I'm, I still have my, my big record, but I'm saying I, I used to fuck up so much i would not be able to stay out of prison for more than six you know six months but look at me now i'm getting ready to get off of probation i've completed everything i did drug testing for for almost you know three and a half years and and i'm i'm, I'm almost done i'm done and i i see now that the light at the end of the tunnel tunnel you you can actually can change you actually can lead by example and be better and be different and show these guys that you know change is possible because at the end of the day like it's it's the kids that are looking at us they're looking at us and they mimic us so if we do dumb shit guess what they're gonna do dumb shit too i heard one of my motivational speakers said that if we were only to care more about our youth like we do about our kids they wouldn't be so tied up in all this stuff that's happening right now with the gangs and shootings and all this stuff and that's what i mean if we start caring a little bit more about everything that's going on and stop hating so much we could create a change my name's jc i am ron strong this is my channel. Like I said, this is not a cooking channel. This is my life, my story, my, you know, just everything tied up into one big, big video. Yeah. Don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And at the end of the day, you only have one life to live. But if you live it right, guess what? One life is all you need. I'll catch you guys on the next one.